On this episode of At Home with Eastbrook Homes, Stacey Viss stops by and we're gonna be talking about the market. What can you expect as the spring fever of the housing market has started a little early? And as I said, my guest today, Stacey, and we are gonna be talking about the housing market and sort of at least, Stacey, in this particular moment that I am speaking to you, what the market looks like. So first of all, how are you? I am good. How are you? I am amazing. And it is uh, such a blast to be able to hang out a little bit. It's been a minute. Um, but we're here to kind of talk about the housing market. And all you have to do is, you know, start a Google search and you can go down a myriad of rabbit holes as to whether or not the housing market is amazing or it is the worst thing ever. But I figured why not actually talk to somebody who is in the market uh, who could give us real information. So Stacy. What are you seeing and how are you thinking of the market right now in 2024, at least March of 2024? Well, I would say that the spring market in West Michigan has definitely hit early this year. Um, I think it's nice to see the sunshine, especially warmer weather in February, which has got people out shopping. We had um, we had record sales in February, so <laughs> we had 50 seven new home sales last wow. month, which wow. we've never had in the history of Eastbrook Homes. So people are out there shopping. Um, they're excited. So that's what we're seeing um, in the existing market. People are frustrated. We're still seeing really low inventory, um, multiple offers, over asking price, frustrated and defeated buyers. Um, so I would encourage those people to explore new construction you know we have a multitude of products now we have townhomes terrace homes slab products um rear loaded homes duplex condos single family homes um, um you know something for everyone lots of different price points that we can that we can hit now uh, this feels like a, a two-part idiotic question but allow me to be the idiot to ask the question yeah. one is the warmer weather in cooler seasons, does that typically impact housing prices? Like as spring breaks early or winter waits longer that though like a November and a February would outperform based on weather. Is that kind of what you typically see when you have warmer months in, in let's say those two areas? Really good question. Typically from Thanksgiving to the first of the year, people just, burrow down, right? You're in holiday mode. They're thinking about other things. They're not thinking about buying a home. Spring market usually hits in March um, where it's, it's warmer. They're thinking they're sick of being in their homes. They've, <laughs> they've been too close to family for too long, <laughs> yes. um, but it's not so freezing cold that they can go out. Their properties start to look better too. Um, Things don't photograph really well in the dark, dreary months that we see in West Michigan. So your landscaping looks better. Snow is gone. All of those things definitely play into effect in a spring market. Um, people are just they're just ready for something new. So the second part of my dumb question, which I sort of know the answer to, but I, I kind of want to get the Eastbrook perspective on. Obviously, one of the solutions to low inventory is to add inventory, thus building homes, right? Um, what are you seeing as far as the appetite and the ability of a company like Eastbrook to obviously one company can't match the demand that we're seeing, the historic demand that we're seeing, but a company like an Eastbrook, what can that do to alleviate some of that inventory concerns and uh, I ask this question a lot, but to your point, if you're frustrated in this market, moving into this other market might alleviate some of that. What's the best way for them to kind of get started finding the various uh, locales that Eastbrook has? Twofold question. So I'll try to answer both. Um, our land and development team is working with all sorts of municipalities to get smaller inventory approved, um, which has been a, a battle. Um, but we we have some good supporters in different townships that are advocating for us, um, smaller, more dense product so that more people can afford new homes. Um, but it's, it's definitely an uphill battle. So we typically try to put 40% of our 40% of our sales 
are usually showcase homes, which is essentially a, a spec house. Sure. Yep. Um, so that we have that available inventory to the market. Um, so that's one way we're trying to, you know, combat it. We've introduced a lot of different products. Like I said, townhomes are lower prices. Terrace home is a little bit different from a duplex. It's going to be less expensive, but also a, uh, a lot of a lot of space. So a lot of bedrooms, uh, a, a, a single family could move in there. Um, and then we have, you know, all the way to executive homes and people that are not really affected by interest rates or, or any of that. There, there are cash buyers that are continuing to move. So we've just tried to di diversify our portfolio really, and just try to meet the needs of all people. So it leads me to my next question. Like if you're you're in the market right now or you're thinking of getting into the market, you've been bit by spring fever and that spring fever manifests <laughs> in a new home. Um, sure. You know, how do they get better prepared to enter this current market so they get what they're looking for? They don't leave frustrated. They feel like this was a good move forward as a family or a couple or a you know, single person yeah. going into a new season. So I think it's specific to where you're at in your life. Um, but if you're entering the market for the first time, I would say buy now. Historically, home prices, they just continue to go up. So if you're waiting for them to drop, they're probably not going to. Um, so start building that equity now. And maybe that looks different. Maybe you've dreamed of getting married and, you know, buying that home in the, the best cul-de-sac and in your neighborhood and, and maybe that looks like building building a townhome first, you know, and enjoying home ownership and starting to build that equity so that you can use those stepping stones and and essentially eventually get, you know, where you're where you where you want to go. Um, I think townhomes are an excellent product. We have three bedroom. Actually. We could do a four bedroom in some communities. Um, and when you're looking at not having to buy a snowblower or, you know, a lawnmower or any of those maintenance issues that kind of add on, it's it's zero maintenance living. So enjoy being, you know, a homeowner and all of the things that come with that. Start building that equity and then you can you can transfer that onto your next home. So I think people just need to look at it differently, more stepping stones. First, uh, if you ever think of writing a memoir, I think cul-de-sac dreams is probably the one you should use as your, as a title. Um, secondly, you know, as they're, as they're thinking about this, where's the best place uh, w within your ecosystem for them to kind of start that research? Because obviously most people don't just jump in. If they're new to the market, they, they want to do some research. Where's the best way for them to kind of start figuring out how to enter into the Eastbrook e ecosystem? I would say eastbrookhomes.com. So I direct everybody to our website. It's got um, a huge amount of information. It also will connect you to our online team. A lot of people are coming in from out of state, so location isn't necessarily a priority to them. They need to be 30 to 40 minutes from their job transfer, but they don't know the difference between Jenison and Rockford, sure. right? Um, so our online team is available to walk them through, guide them through. All of our home plans are available on our website. All of our pricing is available. So definitely start at our website and then we will direct you, um, ask the right questions and, and get you to the right people that you need to talk to. So Stacy, before I let you go, anything else people should be considering and, and maybe more importantly, you and I talk, let's say November of this year, how do you think the, if you had a crystal ball, I will not hold you to this answer, but if you had a crystal ball, what do you think the market will look like in November of this year as we've gone through an election and we've gone through the aforementioned up and down and up and down? You know, what, what do you think it'll look like in November? I, I honestly think that the market is still going to be really strong. Low inventory is definitely in our favor. Um, I tell people if if interest rates are holding you back marry the house and date the rate you can always 
you can always refinance down the road, but start building equity now. Um, but I, I think 2024 is still going to be a really strong year for us. All right, Stacey, as always, a pleasure to talk to you. Have a wonderful rest of the week, and uh, I will absolutely hold you to uh, catching up in November to see where we ended up. Sounds great. Thanks, Eric. 